what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about ios 18.4 as i'm using this version from last couple of days so it's been five days that i'm using ios 18.4 on this device over here in this video i will be talking about the battery life and also about the performance that how the performance is going on from last five days so without any further delay let's dive into this video now for the battery definitely we will go to the settings over here and we will go to the battery stats over here and see the how the battery is performing from last almost five days now this is the first day when i started using ios 18.4 now if you see the graph over here it is higher than the 50 percent and it is in between the 50 to 75 percent which means uh, I used around 60 to 65 percent of the device over here and I guess that I got like around 6 hours and 51 minute screen on time as you can see which is quite decent. So moving to the next day where I used slightly more than the previous day as you can see you can consider like I used around um, 70 percent of my device and this time I got 6 hours and 27 minutes of screen on time. During which I use different applications like InDrive, Camera, WhatsApp. Now these apps are like the apps that can give a lot of battery life. But still a really good battery life over here. It's a really decent screen time over here. Now if I go to the another day where I used around more than 50% you can see um, it is you can consider it 60% maybe. And this time I got 7 hours and 31 minutes screen on time. Now during this time I used what Instagram app store. I was updating apps, downloading apps that I you know use um and WhatsApp and some other applications. And over here the screen on time is really really good as you can see. Now the other day where I use a very less of my device, it is lower than the 50%. And still I will to achieve like five, four hours and forty seven minutes screen on time where I use WhatsApp a lot, I use beta for Netflix and also a TikTok. Today I used my phone a lot. I used like 75% and I got almost almost 7 hours of screen time during which I use like WhatsApp a lot, TikTok a lot and some other applications as you can see. Now if you see the uh, screen on time over here, this is a, a very decent screen on time being very honest with you. Every other day I am getting a really good screen on time which is a really good sign which means I am getting a good battery life things are getting better i'm enjoying the overall performance um of the battery life of the ios 18.4 if you're facing any sort of issue on the uh battery what you can do is let me know in the comment section below i am always here to make different sort of videos for you through which i can help you to know you know to get more better battery life so yeah you can just let me know if you are facing any sort of pro battery problem or any other thing i am here to help now it's time to talk about the performance so in terms of performance overall performance is nice i'm not facing any sort of issue i'm not facing any sort of lag in fact i am enjoying the performance there's no lag at all things are fine even after five days and everything is working very very smooth which is a really good sign now i'm very honest i'm very happy with the performance I sometimes I do face lag while launching the visual intelligence as you can see it took a while to launch I don't know for some reason but I sometimes I also when I use the camera control to launch the camera I also see a slight lag when the camera app is opening um, but yeah overall it is a good performance um, if I talk about the geek bench over here a CPU benchmark CPU history I got 3392 on a single core while 8395 for a multi core. Now, these cores are higher than the average one, as you can see, which is a good sign, which means that overall things are going fine. Performance is also fine. Now, in terms of GPU, also I'm not facing any sort of problem. 28002 GPU meta score, which is higher than the average one, which means in terms of gaming, things are also really, really going good. So, yeah, so far, no issue at all with the performance. With the battery life, iOS 18.4 seems a decent update. Also, I haven't like heard about anything like I didn't heard about that anyone is facing problem with the battery life or battery draining, which is a good sign this time. I think things are better for everyone this time around. And 
that is a really really good sign of overall performance so if i show you the game over here it is a subway suffer um theme okay i'm dead there is not a single bit of a lag in this game it is running like buttery smooth oh i'm dead but yeah good things are over here which is a really good sign i am really happy with the overall performance of this device now how you are experiencing ios 18.0 let me know in the comment section below what ios version you are using if you are not using ios 18.4 let me know in the comment section below also you can drop your comments your questions for tomorrow's video and i hope to get you guys in the next one until then take care peace out